All right, guys, we have our wrecked Yaris. I'm gonna pull my intake manifold off of. May end up grabbing this hood, but it is pretty rough and a little crusty, but it would be nice to have one to mess around with and either wrap or maybe cut to where I can have some uh, ventilation for you know heat extraction off of the motor. But anyway, we're gonna remove these four 10 millimeter bolts well, these four 10 millimeter bolts there, and then pull the intake manifold off with the 12 millimeter. There's a whole separate video on how I do that. Um, if you're interested, I'll link it down in the description down below. But anyway, let's get to it. Alright guys, we're back from the junkyard now. Uh, went ahead and pulled this intake manifold as well as the hood that I showed you guys in the video just before. Um, basically, what I want to show real quick, I've already cleaned this thing up uh, on the outside. I had some grime and stuff. There's still a little bit of dirt, but nothing too crazy. We went ahead and cleaned the ports out as good as I could. And then also cleaned the inside out. And we've stuffed some rags down inside just so that when we go to port it, doesn't it, we minimize as many pieces of plastic getting down in here to where when we fire it up it doesn't suck a bunch of plastic into the motor um anyway what i wanted to show was what the diameter of this is on a stock one and what we're working with and why we're doing what we're doing so we can go ahead and open this up and wall to wall in there we have 47.3 and if we can go, basically, where the gasket would sit in typically is this groove here, and then it goes around in the circle right out here. That would be where the gasket would sit. If we go out that far, it's going to be too much on our throttle body, and I'll show you the throttle body measurements in a minute, but that puts it at 58.9. Right there, yeah, 58.9. That's if we board it all the way out in there, uh, all the way around. So we need to go just a hair before that. Um, so, you know, it's it's going to be close, but it's going to kind of be a uh, eyeball type of thing and then measure it with our gauge here. So the reason we're doing this, let me go back and zero this out real quick. All right, we're zeroed out. So this is our new throttle body. This is our 2AZ off of a Scion TC. I believe this was off of 2006. So when we go in here, our width on the intake side is right at 60. So when we flip it over though, and this is what's a little tricky, it's not 60 on the back side. This actually it loses about uh, four and a half mil. So all I'm gonna be doing in the next section is taking our Dremel tool, going all the way around in here. We've got a couple different sanding bits, uh, work our way around, port that. Uh, we're not going to do any type of porting on the throttle body. Probably could. I could probably gain five millimeters if I really wanted to, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. Alright guys, so I'm going against my better judgment and actually boring this out a little bit more. I took some of that same exact paint that I just showed before and marked right around in here so that I can see how far that I can actually take it. Uh, I think if I open this up all the way, like if I basically make it flush with this lip out here, I should be able to have it to where it's a 60 millimeter. Um, Again, like I said, I know it's against my better judgment, but I do have two of these intake manifolds. So if for some reason this one gets junked, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, we've got a backup. Well guys, 
we have kind of met the limits of this intake manifold. Unfortunately, on porting it, I actually went through right there. And we should be able to save it, though. Got a little tiny hole there. My thoughts are I'm going to put some, like, JB Weld or something like that on it. See how that holds. Um, hopefully, some type of plastic weld will be able to hold that. I'm a little concerned because I don't like the idea of it being on the intake side in case it was to break off and enter the motor but i even poured it on the inside here this inner lip because it was going back down to maybe like a 45 inside so we'll uh get some jb weld and go from there i've, I've this is about two days later after i have epoxied everything um so what i originally did was i put a little bit of epoxy down on this layer here because we had blown through the plastic from uh pouring the intake manifold out um so I laid a little bit of epoxy down. I put some tape right on the inside just to hold the epoxy from going through. After that, I put a small piece of gasket maker on that part of epoxy. Let it harden with that piece of gasket maker. It's the same gasket paper that we were using here. Um, I just cut small, uh, two small strips and put them right through here. Um, went back across with some black uh, epoxy maker or plastic epoxy maker i guess or whatever it's um did the same thing again with the black epoxy <clears throat> got got i think it was two more strips of the gasket maker put it through here finally i did one more with the black epoxy and then also more gasket paper in there and then i did a final good thick coat of the epoxy uh over top so it might not be the prettiest to look at i don't really care uh it seems to have set up really well it's not not sticky or anything like that it's good and hard so we shouldn't have any issues uh going forward hopefully and we have the inside all nice and uh poured it out i'm probably going to try to gauge it zero it out So we are looking side to side there at 59. So about as close to 60 as I can get. We should be pretty much good to get this dude installed along with the intake manifold spacer, throttle body, and also the AEM cold air intake. So right after filming that last section of the video, I realized I cannot install this yet because I did not plug up this one small section of where the intake gasket used to set or for the throttle body gasket uh, there's a little small square spot that i talked about i should have talked about it previously in this video um, but anywho i've got it taped up i put some two-part epoxy on it i've got a popsicle stick um, on one side with uh, some lint off a towel from the last time i used the epoxy on with the popsicle stick so that should kind of cause like a little or create a little dam to where it keeps the epoxy right where i need it to and then it should just form a nice little square when we take this off. So the epoxy's had time to dry. You can kind of see the little square there. And I went ahead and sanded it with 80 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go with some finer grit sandpaper as well just to get some of the harsher scratches out. But that should be a really good fit for our throttle body to where we will not have any vacuum leaks. That basically just plugged up that little square hole that was and there. here's the gasket maker kit that I'm talking about. It's just a Felpro. It's 3060 as the part number. And the only other thing that I did, I did cap the PCV uh, recirculation port off. So we'll end up just running a catch can on the car so that it's not dumping unburnt oil or, you know, anything like that back into the intake manifold and gumming the valves up. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and make the gasket and I'll have a video of that following right now. All right, guys, I apologize. I did not video making this gasket. It was just kind of proving to be too difficult to video and be able to, um, you know, shape the gasket correctly and everything. So I'll tell you exactly what I did, though. Um, so I've made a couple, I made a stencil, basically. I cut me a square out of this. I just took touch-up paint and put it on the tip of this one, this stud, and this stud there is not one here but we'll have a bolt that goes in through there so 
I put my touch-up paint right on the tips, and then I took my little square sheet that I cut out, laid on top, pushed down on it, saw where the marks were. I took a small socket and a hammer and tapped those out to where we then would have our holes. Um, I'll show you how I did the fourth hole here in a second. Um, and then what I did, again, I just had a small little tube of touch-up paint. It's just this stuff here, something that we had laying around and I went around all the edge all the way on the outside and then also I did the inner part as well right in here um, so that I would know where to cut it and then also I would know where to cut on the inside it's not a perfect circle but it's it's good enough I've trimmed it and shaped it and everything so then once I had that I had three holes and then I had the massive hole in the center for the intake, but I still was missing this one. So I took a little bit more paint, and you could do this on that second step too, but I just took a little bit more paint, went right around this, sat my gasket down on there, pressed it down real good, and it left us a nice little um, circle spot here. So I knew exactly where to punch out the other one. Um, I did this in it's some type of... It's real thin material. I've seen it used for intakes before. And then I made a couple extra ones. It's a really good idea to make a couple extra ones in case for some reason this one gets damaged. You don't have to pull the intake back off or anything to, you know, just make a gasket. You can just trim one out and then pop it right back in. Take your throttle body off and pop it right back in. So in this case, well, this will go on like this. And then we should be able to set our throttle body right on there. That being said, guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you've got any questions, put it down in the comment section down below for me. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And also, if you can hit the subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. Um, that'll help you stay up to date on the entire build. Um, also, as I said in all of my previous videos, thank you so much to our video sponsors for this build series. Uh, FTG Tuning and also Famuto Oil Drain Valves. If you have interest in any of their products, uh, their contact information and websites will be down below. And yeah, we will see you next time and good luck on your project.